y'all welcome back to the channel this is sandy here and today i'm going to be doing something that i've actually never done before and it is to do meal prepping for breakfast so i'm actually on my way out of the house but i decided that many times i don't have time when i have to go out of the house in the morning i, I substitute teach and when I have to be at the school. I have to be there very early and I don't necessarily want to get up preparing breakfast every day. So I am going to try some meal prepping for breakfast. So even though I'm on my way out of the house this morning, I'm going to make something that I will be able to eat again for the rest of the week or at least uh, three or four more days or whatever. So if that's something that you're interested in or you find yourself struggling with breakfast items, Go on this journey with me. I, I've never done it before, so disclaimer, but I'm going to give it a shot today. All right, so these are the ingredients. I'm going to put some spinach in it, some simply potatoes, some turkey bacon, a little bit of milk for the eggs. Eggs. I'm going to use some cooking spray for the uh bacon pen tins here and i'm gonna put some bagel sesame seasoning some um chili pepper because i like spicy things and just a little bit of black pepper so these are all the items it's actually a lot of um ingredients i really should have had frozen uh spinach but i forgot it when i went to the store so i had the fresh spinach i will use that but what i'll do is cook it just a little bit before i put it in there just so that it is not doesn't become crunchy or whatever. It probably won't, but I don't know what I'm doing. So that's what I'm going to try. <laughs> okay, so I've just put five eggs in a bowl. I'm going to put a little bit of the bagel seasoning in the eggs to season them up. I'm going to put a little bit of black pepper. and just a little bit of milk to make them fluffy. And then I'll beat the eggs up and I'll show you what I'm doing over here with the spinach and the bacon. I just decided to cook it down just a little bit before putting it in. Okay, before I begin to put everything in the muffin pan, I'm just kind of cooking the spinach down a little bit and the turkey bacon just to make sure that it's going to cook all the way because it doesn't stay in the oven very long. I have the oven preheated to 350 and I'm just going to go ahead and start layering everything into the muffin pan now. All right, so I am spraying my pan really good because I do not want them to sit. And then I'm going to start with the potatoes. That's the first thing that I'll put in the pan. Each cup will have some potatoes and I don't want to fill it up because I've got to put the spinach in and I've got to put my, um, trying not to make a mess here, and I've got to put the, um, the egg and the bacon in so and also cheese. So maybe about halfway I'll fill it up. Ooh, making a big old mess here. Let me turn off the camera so I can concentrate. <laughs> all right, so the eggs are all beat up. I've got the potatoes in here. I've got my bacon cut in half. I cooked it a little bit and I've got spinach. So I'm gonna go ahead and start to finish this process up here. So the first thing I think I'm going to do is put the spinach in. And the spinach cooked down, so it's not a lot. You know how spinach does. You start with a big bunch, and then you just end up with just a tiny amount. And it's okay, because I'm only doing six of them. Don't want to do a whole bunch. I don't know how this is going to work. And I'm going to be reheating these, obviously, each day that I eat them. So I don't want it to, to last too, too long. <clears throat> and get old or whatever. I will put them in 
the back of the refrigerator to start. And if I like the concept, I might even try the freezer concept of it and see how that works out. So just got that in there and I'm just putting like a half a piece of bacon in each one. That is all. And again, this is turkey bacon. And then I am going to pour the egg in here. And I'm probably not going to do this on camera because it's going to be messy. I'm actually going to get a, a cup and dip them in. So let me do that. I actually decided to do the cheese next. The egg will be the last thing that I put in. Okay, now for the eggs. I put six eggs in here. My thinking was one egg per um, muffin section. So that should be more than enough. It looks like I'm gonna have a little bit left over. So I'll just go back in and top them all off. Then they're gonna go in the oven and I'm gonna bake them for 10 minutes. Again, I am not using a recipe. I think 10 minutes should be enough time. If not, I will adjust. If they don't look done, I'll just keep cooking till they're done. This is what they look like. Before putting them in, I decided to put a little bit of paprika on them so that they will brown. Alexa, start a timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes, starting now. So after 10 minutes, they don't look as done as I want. So I'm gonna actually switch them to the top rack and put them on broil just for a minute. All right, so the extra minute on broil was perfect for them. They are done now, and I am going to see how easily they come out. I let them cool a minute, thinking they would be easier. So let's see if that is indeed the case. It is, look at that. Yep, perfect. So I put them in the Ziploc bag, a freezer bag. I'm gonna put them in the back of the fridge and I'm going to reheat and grab one each day for the next five days. And I've got my one here ready to go for this morning on the go. Thanks so much for watching. All right, so it's the next morning and I pulled my bag out. I'm gonna put one on a plate and put it in the microwave for a few seconds and that's going to be my first day on the go with my breakfast bites. Breakfast quiche to go.